to find the laws of physics is entirely possible. Well, maybe not in real life, but in Minecraft, it definitely is. While messing around with some designs, my friend Pulsify found out that entities like arrows could go through paintings, basically defying the laws of physics entirely. Of course, this would break the painting, but by using the dispensers, the arrows could shoot out super fast. However, there was a huge issue with this. It took way too long to actually kill a player, making it fairly easy for them to escape. Yeah. And we even tried using TNT. Let's just say that didn't quite turn out well. Oh my- We tried a lot more experience, however, they all failed. Oh. Until Pulsify found out something genius. <laughs> it could actually do a quite a lot of damage in only seconds. Alright, here we go. Okay. Did you want to go? Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? We knew this was the one. To put it simply, we used a slime block and a sticky piston to push a bunch of TNT and minecarts stacked on top of one another, and because entities can go through paintings, it could basically look like it came out of nowhere and hit the person we would be trapping, causing of course a huge explosion. So we decided to reuse the building we used to trap players of the cauldron. It was pretty damaged after all of the explosions, but it was still definitely usable. But first things first, Pulsify gifted me a god set of diamond armor he stole from a player by the name of Neon. I know, we're really good people. And he even showed me leftover TNT and minecarts from the cauldron trap as well. First things first, we began a teardown of the interior. And then we repaired the flooring as well. I then expanded the walls of the building too. And of course, then came the roofing. Now that the exterior was finished, we moved on to the interior. We walled off our museum in sections. After the main build was finished, we moved on to the exquisite fine arts. But you see, because this is a fairly deadly server, I decided to combat any foreseeable instances of deadliness with a bit of rules. One of the paintings, of course, had our trap behind it, so I had to make sure nobody would touch it, otherwise our plan would be revealed. And I made some other rules to ensure nobody would grief, and one to prevent any killing. These quote-unquote rules, though, would be useless without a form of binding contract. For that, however, I needed to make a book and quill which requires a book, an ink sack, and a feather. The book and ink sack were super easy to get, but the feather, oh no. That took me a good 15 minutes to somehow find a chicken. Anyways, when I got back, I found Pulse starting to draft our works of art. Woman with cow by dream. <laughs> it's not a cow. <laughs> but firstly, I drafted the contract our victim would need to sign in order to acknowledge the rules. If you've seen Terrain's game show video, he made a book contract his players had to sign. But of course, there was a slight catch. He hid a hidden clause in it that basically allowed him to kill the winner or something along those lines. I think you can see where I'm going with mine. The first page would be completely normal, but the next few pages would be meme slash nonsensical. I legit ripped famous Twitch chat copy pastas and just put a few in there. But there would be a page farther on that had this hidden clause. So for if some reason they didn't read and sign the book, we would be able to kill them. After that was done, Pulsify then showed me how the killing would go down. Oh. Did that scare you? That, that actually landed perfectly. Basically, he drafted a poem that the victim would read in front of a normal painting, and as they were reading it, he would activate the system, and the TNT and minecarts would shoot out and kill the person. However, I added a few more paintings as decoration before we'd get our first victim. And then, we were ready. We got a player, Mungi, who was a part of our enemy's team. As we begin- Alright, so I will lead you into the waiting room. Welcome, welcome. Take a seat as I, uh... So, uh, I'm just gonna, uh... I'm just gonna read out the rules to you. So, uh, number one is please refrain from touching the paintings. These are very fragile. Number two, no stealing. These are priceless works of art. Again. Number three, keep your voice down. This is a quiet place to admire the art. So once we oh, enter, yeah. We'll keep it down. yeah, we gotta, we gotta keep it down once yeah. we enter. Yeah. And then four, of course, no killing inside the museum. Okay. In order to acknowledge these rules, you must sign your name and give the museum your most valuable item. So I'm gonna give you the uh, 
So number one, uh, please take this book uh, and you need to sign your name on it. If you wish to enter the Tyrant's Pulsify Museum, then you must sign your my soul away. You must also agree to not kill Tyrant and Pulsify as well as put away any totem to give respect to the artists of the establishment. As someone who is a scientist who studied crows, I'm telling you specifically, it's science. No one calls Jack Jaws crows. Yes, Miss Mr. Mr. Mudge. Yeah, you, it's <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just sign this. Yes, click click yeah. the sign. There you go. Okay. Like it said on the sign here, you must give us your most valuable item. So what will it be, Mr. Mungy? Uh, I mean, a block of netherite. Block of netherite? Okay. Okay, there we go. That's what I like to hear. <clears throat> All right. So. Oh my god. We, we will be starting off with Woman with Cow. And then Tyred versus Pulse. Pablo, Pablo. Wacky Room. Yeah, remember, remember, remember to whisper in this room because this, this is oh, like, it's like the, yeah. yeah. This is all Pablo. Every everything here is Pablo. The final room. So the 1,000 year old art room, and this is where it's gonna be at. This is Skull of Fire, aka the Minecraft Mona Lisa. So you may start with this poem. Okay. Yeah. So you may you, you may begin by reading the poem. So tell me and read it out loud to us, so we we can understand exactly. He was the sort of man he wouldn't hurt a fly. Many flies are now alive, whilst he is not. Let's just say the actual trap worked a little too well. I died from the explosion and the person who we were trying to trap didn't die. Like. What? Unfortunately, it respawned super far away, and my teammate was not doing so well with Mungi. Ah, and on top of that, all of my stuff blew up in the explosion. I luckily had some spare gear and a shulker though, but I knew Pulse and I had to try again. The only problem, of course, now was the huge hole in our museum, so we had to repair it. Choosing somebody was actually fairly simple. Giving yourself a challenge is the best idea, so we went with Neon. Basically, the most powerful person on the server. And after giving him the cords, he finally arrived only soon after. So what is this? Well, I'm gonna be your tour guide. So, read the rules out loud so you understand them. No touching the paintings. They're really fragile arts. Very keep your voice down. This is a quiet place to admire art. <laughs> no killing inside the museum. In order to acknowledge the rules, you must sign your name and give the museum your most of No. Yes. Actually, sure. Oh, thank you. That was easy. You must sign your name on this sign and uh, place it down wherever you feel like is necessary. Okay. All right. So keep those rules in mind as we go throughout the museum. Oh my God. Why? I pull this apart. Wedding skin white boy. Is he so awesome? I dream. <laughs> 1000 Minecraft Spider-Wars is Minecraft recipe. I did that as well, you know? Yeah, you did. You did. And welcome to, these are the three original Mona Lisa paintings, but then we got something even better. So, Mr. Neon, I would like you to stand right here. You see these signs right in front of you, right here. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to start at the beginning, okay? Read it out loud, because this is one of our most prestigious paintings in the entire exhibit. It was the sort of man who wouldn't hurt a fly. Many flies are now alive. While he is not yep. going by death. Oh, oh my god. lord! Pause. Okay, hold up. So this is actually post Tyrad talking here. I want you to take a close look at what exactly happened. <laughs> Apparently, TNT and minecarts are more effective if you're farther away from them. I'm not even sure how the TNT even reached me. I was almost two rooms away, and yet I somehow had my totem pop and then die. Yet Neon didn't? What the f- So, now here we are again with me spawning hundreds of blocks away as my teammate Pulse starts getting attacked by Neon. How did you not die? Doesn't this seem familiar? Ah, sh At least Neon let Pulse off the hook, but most of my stuff was blown up again, except for my boots and helmet. Neon, you really have basically escaped almost every trap I've done, but you know that streak of luck will not last forever. In fact, I am determined to finally accomplish what I've started from the beginning.
and here's a video of me being able to kill any Minecraft player. Subscribe!